All right, next step is to get this fender skirt off. You got a bolt here, you got a bolt here, you probably bolts and screws up in here. Since fashion, let's get this thing out of the way. Just like the reflex in the silver wing, it just pulls up. You got these little knots here that go down into the holes. And of course, the last one never wants to let go. And the beauty of the PCX is when I have to get into the spark plug hole right here, there's a screw that holds that into place right there. Okay. Now, if I remember right. Uh, there we go. There we go. Here's your oil drain right here in perfect spot to interfere. But now I've got total access to this. Behind this is where the variator is. Uh, the variator and then the clutch. This piece comes off first. This piece actually goes up underneath. So that's going to take a little bit of doing. Um, so I'm going to pause it for right now and um, get that thing off. These here, however, are 8 millimeter, and boy are they on there. Yep, that's going to take two hands again. All right, let's see if I can't put this thing down. And All right. That's... Oh my. That's, uh, that's really on there. All right, well, a few rocks in there. That's wild. All right, that's your variator fan. When this is running, it's drawing air in here, pulling it in through here, and it vents it somewhere, probably right over here, somewhere. We'll find out shortly. But it also it it blows it all the way through through the thing keeping it cool so all right again again let's try to keep these things together so we know where they go they're all the same size so it's not going to matter too much let's just keep those out of the way and let's continue on with Ooh, that was too easy Again, try to keep them together. Don't let them go careening across the floor. Especially if your garage has a white floor and it's absolutely perfectly clean. You do not want a bolt to hit a white floor that's absolutely perfectly clean. Because you will never... Uh oh, that's longer. If, if one of these hits the floor that's perfectly clean and white or say blue or whatever, you will never find it again. These things create some sort of interdimensional rift, fall through them, and you won't see them again until you get to the other side of existence. Alright. I was worried about that one. I didn't think I'd I didn't think I'd have a I didn't think I'd have a long enough socket to get up into that one. There's one more right back here. Oh boy! <clears throat> Folks, they put these things on with impact wrenches in the factory just for speed's sake. Oh, look at that. That one's even longer. So, they put these things on with uh, impact wrenches in the factory just because they've got X number of these things coming down the line that they've got to build. But, uh. Okay, come on, baby. But, uh, here in the wor real world, we don't get that luxury. Alright. Alright. No unusual wear or burn. Marks. Cool. The 
Well, it doesn't look particularly bad. But I'm changing it anyways. So now what we got to do is we got to get that bolt off. We got a little holding piece right here and right here. But that's okay. This is a variator tool holder. As you can see, it's got the bolt that comes through. That bolt and that bolt. And as you can see, it's variable. And those bolts will fit right in those holes to hold that when I take that big honking nut off. As you can see, there's the variator. That socket is a 22 millimeter socket. I've got the uh, holding piece in, in place. And now I'm going to do my thing. And. Oh. Again, they use impact wrenches on these puppies. There you go. Big honking washer. Let's get this thing out of the way. All right. Let's see what we got here. Wow, you can see she's been riding right up to about here. It did at one point go up to here. You got about an inch there that hasn't been used in a while. Wow, that's not good. The good news is all even hasn't cut a groove into it that's good That's the meat and potatoes of this little doodad here. This is a little piece that it pushes up against to uh, push this out. But look at how this thing is shaped. This is why this variator doesn't do what it's supposed to do very well. And I've got roller weights in here look like they've got flat spots on them oh yes oh yes they've got flat spots on them yeah those will have to be replaced big surprise huh uh, but I don't have weights have them on order but I do not have weights ah uh. The good old days. All right. That's doing all right. I don't know if you can. That's the one I saw right there. They won't roll very well like that. So I'll be back in here doing this again. Yeah, you can feel it right there. Another one right there. bad. And I'll be back in changing roller weights in, in the near future. Right now I gotta get that belt off. That means I gotta take this clutch off, slide this whole assembly out, and change that belt. Because I don't know if you can see it. It's awful tight up in there. Uh, so 
So that's what I'll work on right now. You know, folks, now that I think about it, I'm not overly thrilled with that variator. Looks like it should tear the engine apart. Yeah, I'm not real thrilled with that. Hmm. And I do have an idea. Since I'm not using the whole pulley, I mean, it seems to be coming up to about here and staying there. I got range from here to here. This is probably where it sits when it's in the lowest. It only goes up to here. All right, I've got an idea. That I'm going to take that over and I'm going to cut that down a little bit. Take a little bit off of it and see what happens. I might just be turning this thing into a. Uh, uh, very expensive paperweight, but I think if the face is closer in, since the movable face doesn't go out all the way, I don't know if you can see that line there, seems to stop right about here. If I can make it move out all the way, and I should be good. Just in case, I'm going to order me a new boss, too. <laughs> I may be ordering a new variator. I'm not very happy with that. I don't like the looks of that. I don't like the way that... I don't like how the ramp profiles are on that thing. I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. And these things are awful light. I mean, how... That's, that's ridiculous. Alright. I wonder if... Hang on. Okay, I'm lacking any real good measuring equipment, so I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. That is a grinder. You know what I'm up to. No good. I'm going to take it off down to that line. <laughs> That baby's getting hot. All right, folks. One of the things we have a we have a lot of capability at where I work here, um, and one of the things they have is electric welders and the gloves to go with them. So now we get back to where we was. machine shop to have the ability to bring this down no trouble at all oh, 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 oh. and we're almost there I don't know if you can see that line it's right there we're almost there cool see I don't know if you can see it it's right at the line right now. Let that puppy cool down. That baby got hot. As you can see. Ow! Right through the gloves too. Ow! Alright. That should allow the uh, 
variator to come together the way it's supposed to in spite of the built-in restriction on the variator. I think I'll just let that thing sit. For a while. Yeah, let it sit, let it cool down. It's mad at me. Alright, sometimes sometimes this isn't enough. Uh, sometimes you gotta put a clamp on the back brake because your emergency brake sucks. And um, you gotta ra raise these things instead of just being all the way, you gotta let the nuts catch the inside of this here, and then you can pull off your uh, clutch. All right. this thing to come out far enough as you can see it comes off pretty easy nothing really overly fancy about it and there's the inside it doesn't look too bad <coughs> okay it's got some dust on it <laughs> Alright, this is your clutch pack right here. And as you can see, those don't look that bad. I wonder what that means. Uh, at any rate, they don't look that bad. They don't look burned. They don't look like scarred. Excellent. All right, it's time to get that belt and get that thing on there. All right, there's one thing I wanted to let you know too. Uh, there's the, hang on. There's the old belt. Notice what it says on it? Honda Bando. I don't know what Bando is, but it's a Honda belt. This one, this one, it is brand spanking new and it says the same thing this here is a honda belt ladies and gentlemen don't go after your kevlar belts don't go after your gates belts don't go after your aftermarket parts if it doesn't say honda rip it off your bike and get one that says honda this one will go the distance those kevlar ones will not they are junk i just want to let you know you, it's your choice of what you use on your bike and how you modify it and what you do to your bike But I'm telling you right now the Honda brand belts are the way to go All right, I've got the video I've got the uh, variator over, the fixed face right here, and I've got the whoa Wow, it's an hour and that sucker's still hot Get me my glove and it wants to play. I don't feel like playing. I want to put my bike back together. As you can see, I ground it down. And I don't know if you can make out that line. It's right at the very edge of the top there. And that's what it's been ground down to. Sweet. It sits flat. It sits flush. That's what I want to see. The other side that sits against the back of the variator, the fixed part where the weights push against, that has not been touched. Only the distance outward has been touched. But as you can see, it's right down to that, well, maybe you can't see it, but uh, trust me, it's right down to that line and I think I'll have a better, better movement for my variator. I think I'll have a lot better movement with my variator uh, the way that thing is set up. All right, I'm going to get this thing back together and see if she'll run. All right, I've got that up. I've got the uh, clutch back on. Let's see what we get going here. Looks like she's doing pretty good. Now 
it doesn't look like it doesn't look like there's any wobble on it at all so I must have kept that uh, boss nice and flat excellent alright this is how the thing operates Feels like she's breathing a whole lot better, that's for sure. 